and welcome to a Sega Bits review. Today we're going to be reviewing Shining Resonance Reframe on the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation 4. It's hard to believe that Shining Resonance Reframe is the first Shining series game to come out of Japan in over a decade. While the franchise has been a staple of Sega back in the 1990s, it seems that us Westerners have been kept in the dark in recent releases, until now. Shining Resonance Reframe is a definitive release of the PlayStation 3 exclusive Shining Resonance. So was the wait for this series to come back worth it? Let's check this game out. Shining Resonance Refrain is an action RPG which takes a lot of influence from the Tales of series by Namco Bandai. The lead character in this game is Yuma, who has the legendary shiny dragon trapped within him, which makes him a prime target for the Empire and other organizations to exploit. The Empire wants to use the shiny dragon for their own purposes. And it's up to the shy Yuma to embrace the shiny dragon within and overcome the Empire with the help of his new friends. The story of Shiny Resonance Refrain isn't anything special. It's filled with a ton of cliches found not in just other JRPGs, but also anime. Yuma's character is basically a direct ripoff of Naruto, for example. If you are looking for a JRPG filled with anime characters that use friendship to overcome all odds, this game will have you gripped at the edge of your seat. While I didn't expect Shining Resonance Refrain to have a super deep story, it's a shame that most characters don't grow past their cliches. If you know which character troop each character falls into, then you basically understand how their story is going to play out. I do like that the developers actually knew that they were making a popcorn JRPG and embraced it with their writing by adding comedic bits and a little bit of lore for good measure. Characters in this game do get their own side stories, and while it doesn't really add complexity to the characters, it does drive into the lore of the world. The game also has a ton of side quests, but the only issue is that they're run-of-the-mill fetch quests. Not only that, but they also repeat, which is a huge sin in JRPGs, in my opinion. While the characters might lack unique characterization, the team did put a lot of time to separate each character in combat. While the moveset for each character is limited, and only consists of magic moves plus hard and light attacks, but they did do a good enough job making each character play uniquely. My only grip with combat is the same grips I have with most Japanese action RPGs. That is that the AI is ridiculously stupid. While you do get some control over what they do via the D-pad commands, they'll still die in battle. The team decided to remedy this by giving almost every character in your team the ability to resurrect fallen characters. Another pet peeve is how they don't allow you to switch characters in real time, forcing you to pause the game to switch to another party member. This totally breaks the flow of combat and made me just stick to one character throughout my adventure. Shining Resonance Reframes real-time combat works like you would expect from your run-of-the-mill action JRPG. You have normal attacks that give you your own bar, forcing you to rest if you strike too many normal attacks and force abilities, aka magic, that take MP bar. If you want to refill your MP bar, you have to do regular attacks. So these two things are like an equilibrium. You run out of normal attacks, you do magic attacks. You run out of magic attacks, you have to do some more normal attacks to build up your MP bar. The idea of combat in this game is to study the opponent until they do a move revealing their breaking point, which in this game is almost 80% of the time when they're casting a spell or when they fall down. While I found the gameplay to be fun for the first dozen or so hours, the game really doesn't offer you more in terms of AI combat, so you kind of get bored because they're always going to be the same pattern, and you, if, once you figure one boss out, you figure them all out. There is a lot of stuff to unlock that makes the game easier. One of the biggest things to look into are aspects, which go into your weapon giving you buffs. The game doesn't have unlockable weapons or armor, instead Shining Force Refrain uses aspects to give you an edge in combat. Doing character missions and nightcaps unlock traits uh, that you can use to customize your bond diagrams. Bond diagrams let you have uh, special moves between you and another character if you level them up enough. You can switch traits whenever you want in the menu. So let's talk about a few of the in-game systems that Sega promoted. Character bonds or dates is something that Sega pushed pretty hard when promoting this game. If you are thinking that these dates open up a ton of character choices and change character relationships in terms of story, you will be disappointed. When you are in town or in a campsite, the game allows you to invite any member of your party 
for one on one nightcap. Uh, this will unlock a trait that basically gives you a buff during combat in the, in the bond diagram, which we talked about before. Eventually, if you do enough nightcaps, you will be able to ask the character out on a date around town, which basically consists of you just walking around town in different spots and unlocking cutscenes. The dating stuff doesn't go as deep as other games like Persona 5, so if you're expecting that, you're going to be disappointed. The game also features the Grimoire, which I found interesting. In the game, you can unlock these things called sigils, each one giving you the ability to spawn certain enemies, capping enemy levels, and so on. The Grimoire is a dungeon that you create out of these sigils, allowing you to spawn the amount of enemies you want, the types of enemies you want, and other controls depending per sigil. Each Grimoire run consists of at least three floors and is a good way to hunt down a certain type of material or just grind out a few levels before you go and fight a boss. Graphically, Shining Resonance Refrain isn't going to be blowing anyone's mind. I mean, it's a port of a PlayStation 3 game. And even for a PlayStation 3 game, it's just about average. While I do whine about Tony Taka's designs in the newer Shining series games, I have to say this is possibly the best job he has done. I actually thought some of the characters had some cool, well-designed outfits, which seem to have complexity in design and make each character have their own style that matches their personality. Except for the lead character, Yuma, I did not like his outfit, I thought it was terrible. Sorry. The game's world does a good job of designing each area to feel unique as you traverse through beaches, deserts, snow, and even caves. The game's open world is actually a bunch of smaller connected dungeon maps that you can unlock as you progress the story. One thing I did like about the game's world is that it included a weather system, which changes from day to day. This changes the enemies that spawn throughout the open world map. But a major drawback is that the game does not have quick travel. It does allow you to spawn back to town though, saving you 50% of travel if you have a thing called the Marga Stone, which you could create in town and buy it through the shop. And I totally recommend it. Shining Resonance Reframe makes a big deal about the game's music in its world, as that's how force powers are channeled and a ton of other things in this world revolve around music. You'd expect a sweet soundtrack. While the game's soundtrack isn't bad per se, it has a mix of tracks that I wasn't that into and some were surprisingly good. There are some epic tracks that you expect in these type of games, but also some slower paced ambience tracks and even some heavier tracks mixed in there. I also like the little touches the game puts into its sound design, giving each character its own musical sound and changing the game's victory music to reflect the characters in your party. For this review, I got to play the game on the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. While the Nintendo Switch version does have some downgrades in terms of minor graphical changes, added bloom and dropping the frame rate to 30 frames per second, it's actually a pretty great port. While I noticed some minor frame rate issues and bugs in both the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch versions, the Nintendo Switch performed well enough that I played the full game in handheld mode, which was a pretty great experience. The Nintendo Switch version also supports in-game screenshots and video recording, so if you're into that, this game has that covered. Thankfully, Shining Resonance Refrain isn't just a typical port, it actually has some extras making this a definitive version of the game. The first thing they added in the package was 150 pieces of DLC from the original PlayStation 3 game, which included outfits and optional missions. But the big mode that was added was Refrain Mode, which is an extra story mode allowing you to play as in-game antagonist Excella and Genus. The game lets you play original or reframe mode whenever you want, while the game does tell you that you should play the original mode before you play reframe, there's not really that much you'll miss if you just start with reframe, since reframe just retells the story of the original game. But a little bit different, not even different enough to replay the whole game all over again in my opinion. Here at Sega Bits, we give Shining Resonance Refrain a C+. The game isn't going to be your main course meal for a JRPG. It's a nice side meal. It's a 30 hour long game, so you're not going to be investing too much time. It's a very easy to pick up and play, but it's also very shallow. So if you're going to pick up this game, understand it's not going to have the depth that some other JRPGs out there have, but it's still a fun ride and it's perfect for a summer JRPG to play before you wait for another big JRPG to release. 
But that's my opinion on Shining Resonance Refrain. What did you think of the game? Let me know in the comments below. And if you love these kind of reviews and you want to see more, you can support us on Patreon. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.